I just want to see it. I, I think that TNC probably want to kill a tower sometime soon. And are oh, they going to be like, oh, they're going on in here. And and he's the one being gone. Uh, the macro fire. That's a lot of commitment on the macro fire. Been denied. Always remnants as well, I believe. Sun strike. Oh, the vacuum back. Not gonna connect. And Ember Spirit damage will get the kill. He has one more remnant. Oh, I think he messed up there. Probably wanted to remnant first before using the chains, but they're okay with that win. Ao here. He's got it out. The dust has been used. Do they have one more dust? Yes, Dubu has it. And Ao is most certainly dead here. So top lane. BP starting to find a bit of momentum for just to get rid of that orc in silence. Here you go, the dwarf rep coming out and the Boko will get to stop another tower kill. Shards just trying to scout things out. Tihi, but Ao is in the neighborhood. Ooh, and Febby looks like they want to go for this and they're committing for Tihi. But Impale coming here, stopping Febby in tracks and the back of fire. Magic missile lands into the Tihi. Ao, big talk by the close up of Kyo. Here comes the sun track, it's gonna land, not really, just kidding. And the warrior's punch is gonna. Oh, doesn't mean to kill anybody. MP going on Tihi using all his remnants and everyone's really really very low they need one more stun Kyo taking a lot of damage from the spider he's gonna get swapped out by Lord Dubu and Kyo will just back off Sam looking for more blood for Rev he lays on the web and vacuum to back in Radiance top tower is under attack and uh, Radiance top tower has fallen yeah it's a, it's a pretty good trade for TNC overall because I actually have a whole bunch of track kills and that would be enormous now they smoked up they're going for the side flank Dire structure. They gotta Hold kill the box around. Got like, Are they going on the invoker? And then the vacuum on two into the wall. Rave taking a bit of damage and the ice wall catches on the two. Doesn't have to max fire, but there we go. The steering chains catches on the Rave and MP gonna get himself Kano invoker just playing and now there was no more for all the way to TD. Right behind the enemy T2 and it's a nice double impale, but there we go. MP grabbed and he died with for this one. Looking for the double chains on the AO and with the G. And the Shuriken lands all the way behind his teammates, but the finger is gonna finish off the Febby right at the back line and 4F will just back up. Doesn't have Grease, but it's on call up in 20 more seconds and Dubu is gonna TP out QO, also happy to run back. As they do get the T2, but they're diving quite far for this. Looking for the Ice Pop, catches Febby just at a 4F, just at the very tip. Fire and the Shuriken Toss will kill him off and MP really very low, looks like they may keep on chasing for this. They just need one more Shuriken Toss, it's MP needs to start bottling himself up right now. No one is Jerry Chain, but AO is dead. Oh, the same guard! Just saving him just barely for now, MP will have to run. He will have to TP out. Do we have another Shuriken Toss? Such strike! Ice Pop doesn't really connect and AO falls very, very low. So, was that a bit for TNC or for MVP? He can stand to learn a lot from MVP, it's about team fighting and it's something that MVP has done better than almost any team in the world at the moment, to recognizing which heroes to target with which spells in which fights. Oh, Febby, Dubu and Kyo looks like they're gonna find Raven, his gun stack is just about to expire. Yeah, the sun strike is coming in and it's doing him, but he still has a lot of HP. Febby is very, very unhealthy and Kyo as well, look at that cleave damage, Raven. Gonna just click down Kyo, needs one more, actually no, he cancels the attack animation as right now you see MP having a battle with Ayo, but they just killed the Dark Sea at the side and MP is really very very low and the Shuriken Toss still gonna fall him to the side and he is tracked up. TNT is somehow winning that fight which looks like a disaster as he was separated from the team. But Judging very well, you know, based on what they can and can't see of TNT, whether it's safe to be out on the map alone. And you see here, MVP actually group up as 5, expecting a smoke and they're gonna be ready for it. Here it goes, and it's a beautiful ice pop and macro fire landing on three. The figure not have to kill two, but it's a three men back. And of course the battle free to cleave not gonna do as much for him. Laying down the wall is gonna go into everybody who is walking through it as for So tanky but not tanky enough. The kill is gonna get a kill on the tornado lot no, just a bit too short and they will keep on going. Yes. I think they want MVP like completely expected that smoke heroes and then feel like yeah, it's just one to back. So mid T1, the fortification will be forced out. Radiance Raven in a bad position and MP, oh he's remnant back in, he wants to go, he gets the chain, but now nah, he's gonna go back up Febby, they're going straight for Raven, they wanna kill him, who hasn't been able to cast a single spell, and that stun gets off just in the nick of time, Raven, Feb getting the kill here, and he's silenced up, oh look at the mana, he's giving mana again, and there we go, he's gonna chase after the spider, the Inti Rinti spider gets squashed like a bug, and MP, Gonna get away in the nick of time. Tihi gonna get himself a kill as the bounty finds himself another and the ice path Tihi has to run. Febby still has the shots. The snowball's gonna catch him just right there and the sigil's not gonna really save him. Oh wait, the magic wand just in the nick of time, but the shots is gonna kill him. So three for two trade. And you can see here, Vintage G. He used a finger, but I didn't really see on who. Magic damage. 8 to 10 M. So even if it's not that much, it's still always significant. That bounce is, is really, really annoying. This I really want to go. Yeah, they wanna go. 
Spiders are coming in, the Ice Wall comes down, and you can see he's factored straight up to the cliff. He's not coming down anytime soon. He has to TP out an MVP. If they have to fight, now is the time. Simage watching from the cliff, and so is the Sven. Actually, he keep it out forever. Going ahead, MP so as well, and Winter G, they will keep the Darks here right there. And now MVP, suddenly they are on the charge. They go, they will find Sam Page, Snowball Connect, and of course there we go, the Warriors punch up in the air, MP silenced up, they wanna go kill, immediately swapped out by Lord Dubu and Winter G, hey, yo, they wanna find themselves another track here, maybe fine, they will get the bench in the end, so Raven now on the charge, MP chain skin, throwing him in the spot, and of course he's taking a lot of damage from the Forge Bridge, Kyo, maybe he can find Winter G, he's not just in the nick of time, and Febby, is a bit too slow, so that was a, I would say a win for TNC, they stalled the Roche, um, but I like this, and we'll have to, we'll see, maybe there'll be a fight where he gets totally played out of the fight by the Orchid, and it will look like a bad decision in retrospect. Call it Zinino immediately, now. and the Meteor combo, but he's going to use himself up, so he's not going to take any damage from that. He's still kind of stuck in the map, and the armor, the wall cry coming up from Raven. Shurika Toss is bouncing around a bit, and you can see the MP. He... There's a BKB on Raven. He's got yeah, a he's going ham, he's going straight for QO, can he get this down? No, the defensive swap was doable just in the nick of time, but he's still going to lose the ages anyway, then MP. Taking quite a fair bit of damage, gonna just rem in the way and they're going straight for QO. Who's tracked up the ghost walk? Is it gonna help you except provide some more movement speed? And that's a lovely vacuum for forever. You can see the Warriors punch catching Sam H. QO needs to do a bit more with the sugar toss and the star bounty out is gonna get the kill. And here we got Impair for Winter G. They're going straight up Febby and MP. Stop taking plenty of plea from Raven. And it's a 4 for nil trade. And you can take into account the ages. It's a, it's a 5 for O trade. I gotta admit, this is not your usual item. Except when you know when you're usually alone in the lane. You want to rat? Yeah, but this, but this is because they, 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 they feel they're being this. Oh, they're going before. on AO. Mech pops up and Raven is going to find Dubu Tornado, throwing everyone up in the air. And they will go straight for QO, realizing, hey, Dubu is not really the prime target, but we kill him first, and then we'll go straight for QO. Bingo to finish him off and to spend one more right click. Easy. One big spank from that huge cleave. Because uh, because Ember Spirit hasn't gone for Ember Mantle BKB, I think that's why An amazing vacuum. This is how intense this game is right now. 16 to 20 to 32 minutes in. The network chart in favor of TNC. Actually, they're gonna find Dubu, Febby. Oh wait, no, they're gonna find Ayo instead. It's just a bait. And the sentry, the casual sentry for him. Vacuum with two, and of course the wall to follow. But the Shuriken is just bouncing around his work. But it gets fingered before he gets Ayo. And somehow, it both coming into Sunstrike. The stun going on straight on MP. Remember now. Silent. And he's and just that. gonna die, doesn't even get to pop the one charge And they will smoke to try and catch somebody Gonna go straight on Dubu he would, yeah, It's gonna be a 3 for 1 train That's literally what I was just saying Sven, Breedmother and Lion blink onto Ember Spirit And if Ember Spirit is, is isolated and the Forge Spirit? Okay, that's pretty smart Tihi now running around with 451 movement speed A very fast dragon Darkseid yeah. doesn't have wall just yet But there's still potential for comboing Comes the tornado combo Tihi Oh, they do get it to combo up with QO, swapped out immediately by Dubu, who's gonna pay for his life. And QO getting spanked down by Raven with this huge stick. One more right click. Actually, no, blinks out. Sam is going here on MP. He's gonna back off, and Febby doesn't really get the Warriors punch off. And the BKB and Sam is really starting to prove itself very useful. MP, oh, they found him. I think he's just dead. You don't run away from this. Not like this. Oh, no, he the Dominic Blast was brilliant, but it wasn't there. He doesn't have tools for survival. That's the the thing of this ball. I mean, sure he's oh, tanky, keep on but going. once they're on him down. Forev, Forev, you're in the wrong neighborhood. And Kuro once again trying to save his team. There's no buybacks on anybody, and the vacuum doesn't really connect into anybody as Winter G sucking out the mana for Forev. Sunstrike not gonna land, actually it will. And the is dead, Gem is on the floor, and Rhythm is gonna kill the Darks here. So this is gonna be a 4 for 1 trade, favoring TNC. And they will just run straight back to the Roche Pit before they try for maybe a T2, or maybe he doesn't even doesn't die. buyback. He, he, he doesn't die, that's, I mean, the, please, someone make that into a clip, because that is... Some phenomenal ball we play from Q and... Oh, yeah, you know, here they're going straight for this as they bring Winter G into the clip, but that's not the one you want in the clip. Dubu's gonna swap out MP. Who is smoking? Okay, he's gonna get tracked out and silenced up and Lion gonna finger down the Ember Spirit immediately. He has right now five heroes for F. I'm not sure how good MP's invoker is, but... I mean, I only saw some magic, but I don't think this is gonna be enough. Feppy's gonna go get himself killed. You know what? Four for, oh. You know what happens? Uh, as the fight started, Kyo didn't have TP. He had 10 seconds left on his TP and it's the same kind of thing, so... And I'm still pretty confident that he needs a defensive item, at least like a BKB or something. Because if not, the silence is really hurting him. And right now, middle lane, they're going straight for this push. You know, oh wait, he's just going straight for the stun and agent. Three hits and finger down! Oh, there we go, Kyo. 
The level 22 deafening glass. And the... Uh, oh, back you into the wall, oh. dude! Oh, man! Let me! Is that a follow-up QO? Or staff core trying to save him, but QO, does he have buyback? He'd be forced to buy back here, I think. Yes, he will. You know, MP pushing in the... Pushing the top T1. And there's still no lane wreck with TNC just yet. He will have to TP to join his team to fight QO. Making all these plays, slowing down. He's just delaying them so much. And Raven, now the steering chain's gonna save him. And of course, beautiful defensive snowball catching him and going straight for Winter G. And there comes MP. Dark is gonna kill Raven. And they're gonna go chase down AO. The Aegis is gonna get popped on the bird mother as MP is gonna try racking down Sam H. Is the gem on the floor? And anybody? There we go. MP getting some a thousand gold from killing up Sam H. And they will go for a bit more. And they will kill the bounty as well. It's a four. Actually, make that a five for zero trade. And they get the top lane of Rax as well. So MP um. somehow. Coming out the and, and buyback maybe too at those rates. Are they buybacks on TNC? Are people going to come respond to Cure? Like, the way TNC committed in that mid push, you could tell very clearly that they sort of thought we killed Invoker, we won the game, let's go. And he buys back, and it's it's disastrous for them. Oh, they find AO. Gonna really get it, but MP chains off. And Brim Mother and Sven, they are forced to buy back MVP, you need to just retreat right now, this is not the fight, this is not the fight, they used up the Duke King stun, but MP, oh this is a disaster, swapped out immediately by Dubu defensive stun, and where's the finger, oh saved by the snowball, but somehow Dubu still dies, and Brim Mother, here comes the deafening blast, they're gonna find MP who is running for his dear life, he needs to get out and the chain, he needs to stun, he will fall anyways, he still has buyback, but 3 down, and the top lane is being pushed in by Forev. And the oh, he, he finished the Daedalus, that was my first part of his plan. But yes, I think that next... I, I don't know, things have changed since then, that's the thing. They've done quite well, but I, I do still think, yeah, I think they maybe need him. Oh, they're going straight here for Kyo, he's just gonna swap that by Dubu immediately. <coughs> and Dubu's gonna get whacked up by Kyo, he's perfectly fine with it for now, just kidding. And the Snowball not really gonna save anybody, and wait, does he get a save by Kyo? Kyo is still alive, and the Yul's keeping him there. He needs to blink out, Kyo is dead with no buyback. And, oh, this is a disaster, you see everyone here, no buyback. On MVP except the Ember Spirit, he has 3 seconds left, so he didn't want to use the buyback, but this will be a lane of racks if anything it should be... Maybe go straight for the throne, they can consider this. Yeah, they can. Oh, they're going to join MP! And silence up, and 4 stop for it, he's just dead. He's got a buyback. Yeah, he has but, a buyback. But is he enough? That's the question. I, I don't think he is enough. Maybe he dark clips on every single slide. Maybe. For your life, MP, what are you doing, MP? And the vacuum bag sandwich into the fountain. It's not quick enough. MP holding on to your dear life as Raven hitting onto the T4s. This is just, just looking so intense right now. And he's gonna rev the fort going for T here and oh, with the G with a beautiful intel catching too. But somehow Raven he doesn't care, he's just going straight for the throne. Okay, Good. I've just been standing attacking the throne and the towers the whole time. So the Ember Spirits had a lot more space and... Okay, they decide actually time, let's all go for the Ember Spirits. Well, MP needs to sound here, but Febby... Oh, but going for the snowball, MP inside of this. Not really gonna do that much, Seven does kill off the bench. MP is getting right clicked down. He needs to run it back into the fountain, he will. And now, now the buyback comes up for us. Raven, he's going straight for the throne. Does he have mana of a god strike? No, he does not! And Forest is gonna play Raven right here. They need to do something. They need to kill Raven right now. They can't end it, but MP immediately hacks up. Immediately locked down. Gonna get four staff for and silence up. Page, going to get an MP. Does he get the side of this? Oh, yes, he does. He needs to rev it back in. He's still alive. QO. They need MP. They need MP back right now. And then oh, oh, Raven so finally gonna fall down here. And Sam Page right clicking the throne. Gonna... Does he have the damage? I don't think he does. The lion's trying to throw him. The lion's trying to throw him. Lion, hit the throne! No! He's still trying to, he's trying to end it 200 HP, he just does not have the damage for that. No, like, here comes Tihi! Did a fortification, Tihi? This is so close. Oh, did they kill him right here, Sunstrike? 170 HP, and no buyback on anyone except the Lion. They have to go all in right here. MVP, they're going straight they're for the win. throne. They're gonna win. MVP's gonna win. What? What just happened, Scat? Under MVP are about to win this game. I cannot do this alone. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way in hell he does this alone. Ah, oh, he's dead. And I think TNT just lost. This is uh, <laughs> yeah. This is one of the most awesome Dota games I've ever seen. Oh in my, my life. god. Just, there were some players for both teams. There was the drafts were interesting. I mean, even now, as MVP killed the the TNT ancient, there's like a 20k lead for TNT as their throne goes down. What an absolutely incredible! Oh, wow. so he... classic TNC vs MVP. MP says it, and that's that, that says it all. Like what?